merch, man. It's just merch. It's just merch. Ah, it's just merch. Guys, this merch is so good, it should be illegal. Go shop at BigBearWeatherAndMore.com to get yours. Okay, you guys, it's March 7, 2024. We are going to take you down the mountain and up the mountain because I know a ton of you are going to be coming up for this weekend. I want you guys to see what it's like right as the storm is leaving town. Okay. So there's right. still a little okay. bit of Thank weather so happening right now, but I want you guys to just feel safe when you're coming up here. So we are going to start off in the village, and then we're going to go down 330 and then come up Highway 38. Again, I know a ton of you are going to be coming up here this weekend. This could be one of the last... I mean, I don't see any snow in the forecast, guys, from here on out for as far as my forecast system goes. So um, I really urge a lot of you to, to come up. I will be posting on Friday, um, maybe, yeah, definitely Friday, a, a video of skiing today. Guys, I was absolutely charging. Like, like I was, I had a lot of courage today. We went to the very top numerous times and and went down some, uh, for me, pretty crazy stuff and absolutely was flying. My legs are not hurting, which is really odd, but the ski conditions were impeccable. I was absolutely shocked, you guys. It, it was so good. And, and I forgot how, how amazing Bear Mountain really is. No wonder why it's <laughs> my, my favorite resort. But yeah, so you guys are gonna love that video of Friday. It's of today. Um, but yeah, I want you guys to come up here and enjoy. A, I'm not trying to be pessimistic, but I mean, as I said, there's no snow in the forecast. Usually our resorts close between April 1st and April 15th. And I don't see any snow even up to the 25th of March. So um, get your buns up here, you guys. And also, if you want to support the channel, please, please go to BigBearWeatherAndMore.com and get yourself some merch. It'd be pretty awesome to see more and more of you sporting the merch up here. I've already seen a few people, which is just really, really cool. I didn't expect to see it that quickly, but I'm super excited about it, and it, it will ultimately really help this channel out. And there's another method that you can help out as well. In the description of the video, there's other ways you can help also. So thank you guys ahead of time. Thank all of you who have been so supportive for so long. Definitely, definitely appreciate it, and I'm beyond grateful for, for all the love and support, guys. So, thank you. But yeah, right now we're on Big Bear Boulevard, aka Highway 18, about to head down the mountain. We're getting a couple of snowflakes right now. And I'm assuming when we get into Running Springs, we're probably gonna have a little bit more snow coming down just because it's that side of the mountain range. So this is gonna be a cool, fun drive to drive through a little bit of snow down the mountain at nighttime. Look who, look who showed up. Look who showed up. <laughs> All right. There's that. My beautiful wife. So we're going to go grab a bite to eat. And as I said, it's a, a really good excuse to help you guys out and show you guys what it's like. Right as the storm, the tail end of the storm is, is passing through right now. So I can promise you one thing. Whatever conditions you see on the roads, whatever you can see, it's going to be better and better tomorrow and better on Friday. Again, I just I just want you guys to feel safe. I want you guys, we need you guys to come up here. Slow down a little bit, I'm going 35, even though that's slower than the speed limit. I want to make sure I can turn on my brights so you guys can actually see what's going on around here. Is this guy turning? Are we going to get lucky? On this side of the road, they did fix a bunch of the potholes, you guys, so that's a, a wonderful thing. But still be very vigilant because the potholes are nasty. So there's a few snowflakes coming down. Temperature says 34 degrees right now. Feels about right. I'm just saying that because 
when I start my car, it'll usually be like 10 degrees warmer than it actually is, and it takes it about 15 to 20 minutes to get to the right temp, the actual temp. Last but not least, guys, for, for my trying to promote places up here, as you guys know, I'm a huge fan of Get Boards, and they really love you guys, and they have a qual such a quality product, quality staff. Everything about them is top-notch. They're very knowledgeable. If you mention you're a friend of this channel, they will definitely take care of you. And if you bring in your own skis and your own snowboard, they'll wax it free of charge, guys. That's a $25 up to $40 value, and they'll just you just say you're a friend of the channel and they will wax your skis and snowboards for free so take advantage of that those of you who love to ski and snowboard know how impactful a fresh wax can be so get up here and enjoy yourselves and last thing about get boards if you want to save money on your lift tickets you can go to getboards.com 72 hours in advance of when you actually plan on going skiing or snowboarding and you'll save a good amount of money Instead of going to the ticket window the day you plan on going skiing, go to get more than 72 hours in advance. Here we go. All right. So hopefully you guys enjoy this drive. It should be a pretty calming drive. It would be kind of cool on these long drives going down the mountain to have some, some really calm and mellow background music. So maybe I'll try to figure out a way to add some really quiet but soothing music in the background so we can uh, enjoy these drives a little bit more. So how was your day today? of this video you can click on the link and uh, whatever prices you guys see don't forget mention to Jay the owner that you're a friend of our channel and he will hook it up he will hook it up so don't forget to do that I want you guys to really really enjoy his space it's right next to Bear Mountain in a very snowy part of town as well on a very popular road in, in Big Bear called Sheephorn
What are you gonna get? I think it's really cute that you usually order the same exact way I order. It's really, really adorable. It makes me happy because I always think that that's good, but what are you thinking about ordering? guys now we are in the snowiest part of the valley this is where the big bear dam is located just around the corner and if you rewind this video just five minutes you're not going to see hardly any snow on the side of the road at all and here it's a lot more lights over there you can wow that's really really pretty over there Run because my uh, buddy Matt, um, we, 
went down kind of a tougher run to start and I was burning a lot of energy and after the first run I was done but it was really weird by the by the end of the third third or fourth run which was my last run I didn't have any pain at all and I was I was charging it was like the good old days I, I just couldn't believe it they were hitting jumps everywhere and I was recording them hit jumps but I'm not hitting any jumps not anytime soon how about you, babe? Are you gonna hit some jumps? I might. On the next time we go? Alright. I'm gonna hold you to it. <laughs> I might hit some bumps. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Exacto mundo. Not so much. said we get a lot of big rock slides over here and that would just be that would be brutal you feeling okay so far yeah. all right okay i'm not going too fast right no. Going nice and safe. I was actually talking to the girls at Bonds not too long ago because they were saying that you, you've, um, what did they say? I don't remember the word they used, but they were basically saying that you've corrupted me into saying that you're not driving that fast. <laughs> Well, no, I mean, at times I do feel like he's driving fast, but then I look and it really is like no more than 20 miles an hour. Yeah. Through, it just seems fast. Through the camera, it looks a lot fat. Look at that, babe. That looks a lot faster than we're actually yeah, going. Yeah, totally. But then when you like look down, we're not, we don't go very fast at all. You should have told them, mind their own speed business. <laughs> Like huge fans, they love you, they watch your channel all the time. You know who I've been heard from for like the past couple live feeds? Julie Bailey from over there. Do you remember oh. she, she used to be on like all of our live feeds and stuff? Oh, so, yeah, I wonder what happened. Yeah, <clears throat> maybe I went in there and like didn't, didn't recognize her or like something. That's the only thing I can think of is like maybe she was waving or like something and I just, I didn't notice or like something, but. Maybe she saw you going to Stater Brothers along too many, once too many times. <laughs> yeah, true, <laughs> true. And she's I'm like, sure that's she's not loyalty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, probably. I'm sure she's just been busy, but hey, Julie. How's it going, Miss Bailey? Hang on a second. It's weird. I do, I just saw. Next time you see her, can you tell her I said hello? Please, babe? Yeah. Okay. Of course. Thank you, babe. Because, yeah, that, as I said, that's the, the only thing I can think of because when you're a regular, like, all the time on the feeds and in the comment section and then you drop off, I start to wonder what I did, you know? And as I said, the only thing I can think of is, like, maybe uh, just just not acknowledging her and it would never be intentional um, like that but when I go to the grocery store I'm hyper focused on getting in and getting out you know and and now you and I get stopped all the time well you don't you wouldn't usually go through her line though because you usually I go through the self-checkout correct so. correct great that's that's a very valid point I like to go through the grocery line because I like talking to the cashier. Oh, um, well, that's cool, babe. Temperature.
temperatures down to freezing now, y'all. I'm really glad we're doing this, babe. I can't wait for my hamburger to start. Oh, I'm so excited about that, too. I am so excited about that. We gotta stop. I don't know what stop by my uh, brother's house real quick. He's at my sister Susie's house in Orange County, so I'm just going to drop something off for him and then we're out of here. And then we're going straight into in and out baby. I was hoping he was he was going to be there so I can give him a hug. I haven't given him a hug in like eight years. I wanted him to, to meet you also. So he and... Steve, yeah, and my and my other brother Ian lives in like Houston or something. Houston, Texas. And then one of my sisters lives down near San Diego. Another sister lives near or in Washington State and and has a place in, in New York. And then my other sister lives in uh, in Orange County. Seven of us. There's it's a big family. Slow your roll, bud. <laughs> yeah, guys, don't be in a hurry to get up here, okay? Just enjoy the mountain driving. Just cruise along. Anytime you get someone on your tail, the last thing you want to do is speed up. If you're anything like me, you, you don't want to be that guy. You don't want to be the one holding everybody up. So in most cases, you'll speed up to appease them. And that's the most dangerous thing you can do. There are so many little areas you can pull out or move to the side and let other people pass. If you have to do that 15 or 20 times just on your way up here, please guys, your lives are so valuable. It's so important that you do that. For me, my first few years up here, it was a big ego thing. You know, like, oh, I'm, I'm not gonna let them pass. I'm just gonna speed up and, uh, and then they'll be in my dust. That's so dangerous. Well, for me, being the nervous driver that I am, I always found it super difficult to pull over into the uh, pull-out areas because I felt like I... Like, you were coming up too fast or something? Well, I felt like I was coming up too fast. I felt like I was being tailgated. Yeah. I felt like I was going to cause an accident. And so I really, it was just not having the experience driving. But now that I come up, I'm like... It's so easy to just pull over and they give you plenty of warnings that there's going to be a, a pull-out sign. And yes, for the formal ones. If somebody's tailgating yes. you, I guarantee it 100%, they're not going to rear-end you because they're, you know. Well, I mean. They're not, they're not, they're going to slow down when you slow down. And that's what I was always afraid of is if I slow down, are they going to hit me? No, no, so. They definitely slow down with you. But babe, an important factor is when the roads are like this, if they're tailgating and you slow down, they might slide and slide into you. So you have yeah, to- Yeah, I always found the pull out areas super uh, Sketchy, yeah, yeah, totally. Like very nerve wracking. Totally. Nerve -wracking. Yeah, I'm not, I, I'm not the best when it comes to that, but now I'm a lot better. But when you're going these speeds, you guys, um, and even the non-formal pull outs, like you could just pull over right here just like this and, yeah. and let someone pass. Um, since you're, you're not gonna be going at a high rate of speed, um, it shouldn't be too tough, but you don't wanna be going fast and then hitting your brakes because you're like, oh, no, definitely. here's the pull out right here. Yeah, no, that's not Dangerous. What I, that's not what I meant. No, I meant sure. like, I meant like when somebody's behind you and they're aggressively driving, you get that a lot coming up. A lot. Um, it, like my biggest fear was like, oh my gosh, if I if I go to the pull out, like, and I have to slow down a little bit to do that, I hope these people. But Nick's right. If they have to break, they they might slide into you. It's true. Yeah. It's just all about you know being careful and, and aware. I think the experience helps a lot. Too. And and for all all my all my men out there, again, just just let that ego go for the drive. And as I said, if you have to pull over 10 or 15 times, do it because your lives are very, very valuable. And it, 
it just takes one little mistake on a lot of these these roads here to uh, to have a really bad day. And that's the last thing that I, I that, that I ever want to hear is something happening to you guys. So. And this is such a gorgeous drive. There's no reason it to is. take it at full speed. No, sure, sure. And usually the people who are flying up here are people who are constantly going up and down the mountain, guys. Like the Amazon guys, I saw them coming up the other day and there was like five of them following each other. They were going so, so fast. fast. Yeah. Like, dang, we're really excited to deliver those packages. <laughs> Look at Snow Valley, dude. Beautiful, right? So awesome. It yeah, is I so place. beautiful. I, it looks so small from here. It does. It I mean, is. Compared to our mountain, It is right? small, yeah. It is. Look at that. It's a tiny. I would definitely like to go skiing there. But I heard they don't have a bunny slope. Really? It's just one like. You know, I've never been there, which is the weirdest thing. My mom with her first husband told me um, that that was where he took her she's pretty sure on their first date before my mom met and married my father which is pretty uh pretty crazy so that must have been in the late 50s amazing what the? surprising temperatures 31 usually once we drop into the bowl here right in front of snow valley the temperature does does fall even more usually it, it just it starts just completely dropping dropping out but because we do have some cloud cover i'm assuming that's probably well actually no there's no no cloud cover right here it's beautiful and uh and clear with some snowflakes still still falling from these clouds that are over here to the left. You smell good, babe. Thank you. You're welcome. It's called Ajax. Ajax. Just kidding. Yeah, it's like clean all day. Yeah. Cleaning supplies. Yeah. Got it. Smell like cleaning supplies. <laughs> now, actually, I'm wearing. Victoria's Secret Bond Oh, okay. It smells nice. Okay. Really like it. That's Snow Valley, you guys. There's a bunny run right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Maybe that is the okay. end the end of the run though. So I didn't I couldn't see if there's a lift that ends right there. So maybe. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh yeah. And again, guys, we're getting a few snowflakes still, and there's not a cloud in the sky.
So guys, that's what you're gonna deal with is really fast traffic. And it's snowing pretty good and there's no there's no clouds up there, babe. Look at how crazy that is. I'm wondering if they're just to the right here. But it's snowing really good. I, I mean, for not having any clouds in the sky. There's a snow to the park. Kind of hard to see it right now, but there it is. I think that's called snow drift. And a lot of people end up, uh, when they're, they're bringing their kids up here to go sledding and stuff like that, expecting to go to Big Bear, they'll see that place and, and just be like, that's far enough. <laughs> we're, we're not going any further. Because I think from this point, it's maybe 15 miles to Big Bear. Something like that. That's, uh, Costed me a lot. Thousand dollar fine. Two days of community service. They're serious about that thousand dollar fine. 
I think it should be a lot more than a thousand dollars. Yeah. Because of how many, as I said, inconsiderate fools. Yeah. Who come up here and just, you know, it's 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 mind blowing to me. I mean, like big time trash. No, yeah, I've seen people throw like a bag of trash out yeah. the window. Yeah. Oh yeah. Are you kidding? Oh yeah. It's just unbelievable. This is the, one of the last bastions of of beauty and yeah. s s serenity in Southern California, and it's ev it's everyone in, in SoCal's vacation spot. Mm -hmm. So it's like, why why would you do that? Yeah. As the totally. snow melts away for our season, it's really sad seeing our hillsides just how messed up they are with broken sleds everywhere and uh, garbage everywhere. It is really sad. Some of the garbage, you know, it, it doesn't all come from litter bugs. Some no, of it true. comes from animals and stuff. getting yeah. into the trash cans, yep. the bears, and things like that. Some of it's just, you know, it happens, but definitely, um, there are a lot of, definitely a lot, of, and I, there's a lot of bad habits I had to break coming up here when I, when I first moved up here, like, little things, but they are significant when a lot of people are doing it at once, you know? Yeah. It really is. Alright, so we're entering Arrow Bear, right? Yeah. Arrow Bear. soda so I could use the restroom. Yeah. I really had to go. That was not cool. But it's their rules, you know. I totally understand. I totally get it. I'm spending from Sweden. actually a, uh, a Jensen's market Wow. yeah yeah so like uh, when we pass these couple gas stations up here the one on the left and the one on the right there's a Jensen's on, on the left hand side but you have to turn and then it's right there but it's a it's a it's a small size grocery store it's it's not like a, not like what we have yeah. not even close but I always remember Jensen's from being a kid and my mom having her place in Lake Arrowhead, that's where, that's where we uh, would go shopping. Where's my, my zinnies in, oh, <laughs> freaking out here. But I definitely wouldn't mind. What? I just would have to be more prepared grocery-wise living, like on this side of town. Yeah. They don't seem like they get a lot of snow. I mean, I know they get snow, but it doesn't seem like they get. So their snow I melts melts faster, but actually, because of the location of these towns over here on the other side of the mountain range, on the front side compared to us, they they can and will get hit harder than us. Maybe. But because they are a lower elevation and the temperature is usually warmer, like right after the snowstorms, it melts way, way, way faster. But yeah, like it's, because I thought that same exact thing so too. It seems like they get less. Yes, correct, correct. I think technically we do get more, technically, but it's it's not much more. And, and this is almost a thousand feet lower in, in elevation, which is a significant, significant difference. If, if Big Bear was over here, or if this town was close to 7,000 feet up, they would, it, it, you would notice a huge, huge difference. They, they'd have 
have so much more here. But again, they get, because of being in a lower elevation, they get uh, warmer temperatures and the snow melts faster. We get the, like the, I don't know, the, uh, the last parts of these storms because if you watch on most of the radars of the green and blues coming through, as soon as they get to the back of the mountain where Big Bear is, as soon as it hits that desert area, most of the time you'll see it, it just stops. It's just you'll see the green and blues constantly going right up against here and then as soon as it hits Big Bear, it's yeah, it, it just it just loses a, a lot of its moisture. It's really interesting. We live in some really cool climate, like microclimates up here, especially our town, man. Like the Big Bear snow rule that I've coined, right? Like every time there will always be a lot more snow in uh, near the dam, right? And then you, you go out to to Baldwin, and there's nothing. And I love I love that about Baldwin. I mean. Yes. Again, I love place. the snow. I'm starting to love the snow a lot more than I used to, especially this year. Something about it was Sometimes. just, I don't know, like even today when it snowed, I was like, oh, this is so You even pointed it out, like at like four, so four in the morning, you're like, wow, look at it snowing out there. Uh -huh. It gets just enough to where you can like enjoy it, put your fingers in it, but then you can still, you know drive off to Apple Valley. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Want. You can make snowballs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. But usually it's, it's it's odd, but not much more than that. Like it's, and when Baldwin gets like six inches or a, a foot of snow, then you know we got absolutely hammered by a yeah. massive, massive storm. Because a foot of snow there usually equals maybe two and a half, three plus feet of snow over just seven and a half miles away as the crow flies at the Big Bear Dam. It's pretty amazing. Plus the, the lake fronts or whatever you want to call them, since the water's been getting melting over there in Baldwin, they've had a lot more water than usual. That's just been looking so beautiful. They've had such a beautiful view lately. Yeah. I mean, it's nice that they get that lake stuff. I know that it's not stuff like a lake for, lake, but for, you know, No, it is. It is. Beautiful. It is. It is. Yeah, yeah, it's absolutely a lake. Um, but it's in some of the nastiest water you, you've ever seen. But just knowing that, like waking up over there and just seeing a yeah, big lake there, it's, it's just awesome. So just so, so incredible. And the other day I passed by and they were, they had the bulls out, the ones that I was telling you. Pretty cool. The bulls? Bulls. They have bulls right there. Oh, cool. Yeah, I remember you telling me that now. Giant yeah, horns. Yeah, freaking sweet. And here, guys, here's here's the start of some of the really incredible views. Like you're on an airplane, looking down. I'm gonna stick my phone out the window just to try and get a better. I was thinking, you know what? I hope you don't think when you walk in that well, she yeah, she it's hurt like herself. Sitting right there on it is the first thing I thought. Trying to cover the evidence. <laughs> yeah, she had some 
like a big piece of it stuck to her mouth. I was like, you're disgusting. <laughs> we should have brought them. Yeah, but there's no no room back here. But they would have sat up here with us, so yeah, duh. All right, guys, 34 degrees. We are in Running Springs. And we're about to, we, we have already begun to make our major descent down into the Highland, San Bernardino, Redlands area. We're going to go into the fast lane just to avoid some of these, these issues over here on the, on the right lane. And for those of you who are curious, the Kia would definitely make it up and down right now very easily without chains. Yeah. Have them with you, right, though? Always. Oh, always. yep. Have yeah. them with you. Of course. So since we are going so slow, I hope you're okay. Such a pretty ride. I'll, I'll turn up the heat, but once we get down here a little bit, some of the views, I'm gonna have to like reach across you for a couple of them. <laughs> Is that okay? Excuse me. Yeah. Because okay. especially guys after after storms like this, for the first day and a half or so, the air is so clear and you can see so far, and we are hitting it perfectly. It's gonna be great. The view is gonna be epic. Well, like right now with your window down, the air is so clean. Yeah, crisp, oh yeah, oh yeah. It just smells so fresh. It's really, really nice. There's a huge horse stable. So we're going 35 miles an hour. I know it feels like we're going a lot faster. But we're not. We are not. <laughs> All right, so around this left corner, on the right hand side we're going to start seeing some or at least kind of out the right side some some really incredible views guys so just be prepared because it is going to be beautiful it is just so crystal clear out there right wow 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 it's so epic i love it absolutely love that That's just amazing. It's amazing. It's crazy. Isn't it? I mean, there's there's not a lot of people on this planet who get to experience views like this. I mean, we really have a very special situation up here. Temperatures jumped up to 37 as we descend in elevation. Maybe we can do pull out and like get off and record the lights. Get out, you mean? Yeah, get out. Like pull, pull out, get out. Yeah, we can or get off. We, no, we're not getting off anything. <laughs> we're getting out. Get off the car. <laughs> Get into the car, get out of the car. Yeah, well, we could maybe spend just, just a second. 60 seconds or something. Yeah. Yeah. Just to show them how gorgeous. Wow. Yeah, guys, this is, we're looking 6,000 feet down. Isn't that just so amazing? Straight ahead. Yeah, I wish we would have pulled out of one of the pull 
while it's back there, but I think there's a decent view coming up here. It's not a bad idea, dude. Not a bad idea. We're already definitely way out of the snow. We have descended far enough. brake check mind comes into play I've grown up so you know that's just really childish and dumb to do something like that but as they pass you because you were so nice to let them pass but again it's my ego I need to let that go and not everybody knows that rule I didn't learn it until I moved up here well I mean it's, it's just common sense it's do that or, or or do that or just just something maybe they waved and I just couldn't, couldn't see. Oh, geez, I just couldn't see I it I think I used to wait I think I used to wait then when I learned about the hazard thing, I'm like, well, it's so much easier. So much easier, yeah, totally. And more likely for them to see. Ex exactly, <laughs> exactly. I love your sea warmers. Yeah, good.
I said hello. Hi on my. Maybe you did. Remember, I'm still human. But one thing I did notice in my new car, when I have the automatic brights on, where it senses other cars ahead of you. Then uh, it'll shut them off when it senses headlights coming at you. But then it, it, it turns them on like just before you pass them. <laughs> so I, I, was, I was like, maybe that's why I, I get a lot of rights like right not as they pass me but right before they pass me so it blinds me for a second so that's why I stopped using my, my automatic brights for my car I'll just turn my brights on when, when necessary not not rely on the car so close to San Bernardino and all of these areas that, that flood our night sky with so many lights because we would have some amazing, even way more amazing stars than we already do sometimes. Are your ears popping at all? Again, when I first moved up here, I, I, I wouldn't be doing that. I'd be speeding up or doing something stupid. It's not worth it. me right here technically legally oh legally now because of these cars in front of me I'm having a hard time seeing the right hand side but I'm oh missed that one I used to take the turnout to pass cars. But let's see here. Oh, that, this one here? Yeah. Yeah. I remember driving through here with my parents when we came to be there. My stepdad used to love to take it. <laughs> 
Yeah, I used to pass cars there. Ticket every time. I'm like, oh jeez. Because <laughs> I was a, a jerk of a driver. Jeez, you must have been flying down this mountain. Oh yeah. I was. So we're almost at the bottom of, of the uh, main uh, climb and descend part of Highway 330. So once we go around this corner and then one, one more corner around the left, we cross a little bridge over here going over some, some sort of a river. I, I can't remember what it's called, but then that's basically the end of the uh, main, as I said, climb here. What is this river? Lytle Creek, or City Creek. City Creek, okay. Now we're going 45 and it, it seems like we're flying right now. It's, it's 44 degrees outside, we're going 44 miles an hour. So before we get to the bottom, let me just ask you guys, if you feel like I, I deserve it, I'd really love a like and a subscribe. That would be awesome, and it, it would be very, very helpful. If you could consider that, I'd appreciate it. I just crossed the 3,500 video for the almost nine years that I've been doing this up here. 3,500 videos, guys. And they're all pretty darn long, too. So that's, that's a lot of video footage. So thank you ahead of time for that. And don't forget, go to BigBearWeatherAndMore.com to get your merch and support the channel and wear your merchandise with a lot of pride because we've all grown this channel together. I'm very, very blessed to have you guys here with me. riding a motorcycle ever my first motorcycle and I decided to drive down the mountain on my first day like an idiot and someone was on my tail so I, I pulled over but I didn't know how to really brake well or didn't know what was gonna happen once I hit the dirt and I ate it and they kept on driving and I was so mad but yeah guys here we 
go. We are almost all the way down to the very bottom. San Bernardino National Forest, which used to be such a sad thing for me when I was a kid. My mom had a house in Lake Arrowhead, and we, from the ages of 10 until I was 15, and every time we would have to leave, it was so sad. All right, here's the leaving the San Bernardino National Forest sign on the left right there. Well, guys, we made it. We made it all the way down to the bottom. We're just gonna wait till we get to the very bottom, which is just right up here a little bit. But thank you for cruising. Again, those of you coming up for this weekend, I just really hope that you see that it's it's not gonna be as bad as a lot of people think. And as tomorrow comes and the next day, it's gonna be better and better, easier and easier. And I just hope you guys have a wonderful time. So until next time, I'm obviously going to record going up Highway 38, but thanks guys for hanging out. Fun comp. We'll see you yeah. driving back up. Amen. All right, guys. In and out, baby. In and out. So yeah, we'll talk to you guys soon. It's March 7th, 2024. Talk to you later.